Previously on, Tim plays a game. Aha, I see that you've gone underground. Well done. Take I fell down a hole. <laughs> Take these as a reward. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. Well, I'm just kidding. I'm the, I'm the Pokemon <laughs> League champion, but more on that later. I don't think this guy's a member. I think he's just like a lab coat. Like He just wants to be a galactic member and he's like, Come on, guys. I want to play too. <laughs> can, I, can I play with you guys? <laughs> I have a lab coat. I'll pretend to be a scientist. Thanks nice for rescuing me. I can't thank you. you. You've said that you can't thank me enough. You have not st stopped thanking me enough. <laughs> Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. Seriously, I can't thank you enough. I probably have already thanked you enough, but I cannot stop thanking you. I feel the need to thank you. Seriously, I can't thank you enough. Okay, gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. All right. Thank you. <laughs>What's up everyone, it's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond playing on Nintendo Switch. Uh, we have, let's see, we're two gyms in, we're, getting, we're, going to, we're heading to the third gym tonight, and we got a double battle to uh, kick things off. Go for it, my Pokemon, I'll do my best too. Oh, okay, I, thought, I think she was probably supposed to talk first. <laughs> Go do it, my Pokemon, I'll work hard too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, is there a third person here who's just like... <laughs> Which is like way more energetic than these two are. Alright, Pony and Squirrel. Against Beaver and Fight Kid, I don't know. <laughs> Just beat the third gym, that's excellent. Water Gun on Ponyta and go a low sweep on Pachirisu. Yeah, Ponyta is actually a good fire, uh, fire Pokemon in this game. Especially since you get it early on. If you didn't get it, if you didn't pick, uh... If you didn't pick Chimchar as your starter, Ponyta is probably a, be a good a good selection for a fire type. I was thinking about maining Ponyta, but then again, I mean, its speed's good. It's got a good, uh, move pool. But other than that... Yeah, its stats are a little lacking. Defense is okay, but... <laughs> There are, there are other Pokemon I can use uh, that, have, that have fire moves. Of course, if you don't want to use a fire Pokemon, flying types will also work too. I got a Staravia right now. Should be hitting uh, Star Raptor by the end of tonight's video. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Alright, Squirrel down. And Pony down. Most people, there are a good number of people who've already beaten the game. I'm, I'm going through it at like two hours a night, though, <laughs> and I'm not a speed runner. I'm not a speed runner by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost. She just now figured that out. It's like, wait a minute, did we lose? <laughs> oh, we did lose. Okay. For some reason, the bike... You know what? I've come to the realization the bike in this game is very... The bike in this game is very annoying, trying to move around and stuff. It's like, kind of... It's kind of... It's not like... It's kind of like... Delayed to get start to get going. It like starts off really slow, then it gets going. But when you like touch a wall, though, it like completely stops. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard some complaints about that, like trying to move around with the bike is annoying. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Bizies. <laughs> it just ruins the intimidation thing by saying Bizies. <laughs> Bye, girl. <laughs> and that's the introduction to the main antagonist. <laughs> Bye, Zs. Hanging out in caves and talking about the state of the world. <laughs> Meanwhile, he gets rained down on Zubats every five seconds. 
The state is of state of the world is so deplorable. Every get out of here, you. Get out of here, Zubat. No one likes you. I'm pontificating over the state of the world. I don't need you using Confuse Ray on me. <laughs> and poison stinging all my Pokemon. That's just not nice. The world is so deplorable with all these freaking Zubat here. <laughs> so many Zubat. So deplorable. I think, uh, Primpla, I think he evolves into Empoleon level 32 or something. That's why he becomes Steel and Water type, which is a good, t which is actually an interesting type. I mean, he loses his weakness to Grass, but then he gains weakness to, like, Fighting and Ground type attacks, so. Yeah. Hard to say if it's an improvement or not. Claw. Dang. That old punch to the face. Again with the sandstorms. Also, it's kind of hard to kick up a sandstorm where it's not that sandy. <laughs> Anyone else think that's weird? There's not really sand here, it's more dirt. It's more of a dirt storm. Also, it's. There's not a lot of dirt, so it'd be more of a windstorm, if anything. It'd be a very light sandstorm. I'm, so, I'm just... <laughs> this is just me thinking out loud here. Right, Aerial Ace is a better wing attack. Let's do that. Just keep going with, uh... Just going with Crump Up. Hard to say. That name's hard to say. Primplup. It's not really hard to say, but when you when you're so used to calling it Piplup, then you gotta add some letters. Now it's Primplup. Get yeah, it trips you up a little bit. Can anyone please explain to me how a bubble beam is damaging? I mean, there, I mean, yeah, it's a beam of water, but it's mostly bubbles. It's like. I mean, I, I'm guessing water fired out at high at high speeds can be damaging. Yeah, obviously, that's not. But but these are bubbles. They they're mostly air. <laughs> Please explain to me the damaging qualities of a bubble beam. Don't say it well. Just take it. Cool. We got the odd keystone. Or here, thome, depending on how you look at the word. Okay. What the heck. Oh, thank goodness, you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far bit my away my ba my Baneri could have run. Baby Baneri, back into your poke into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a Super Contest show judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. You can just say thank you. I, I, I just stood in the way. That's all I did. That's my whole contribution was standing in the way. Like, no, no, you gotta you have to come to this place so I can thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Are you entering a super contest show? Oh ho, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the hot home uh, gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show. Your, your Fantina. Just say your Fantina. <laughs> you may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger than you may challenge me. Bye, Zs. <laughs> And that's Kira. Or Ki Kira. Oh, hi, it's Mom. It's the mom that looks nothing like me. <laughs> Wait, no, really? Joanna is your mom? So you might be a Super Contest show star. Oh, I don't know about that. I never spoke to Tim about Super Contest shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you earlier. Please take this sticker. Obtained one ethereal, stick ethereal sticker. It would lend nice uh, so yeah, they, they use so yeah, the, they use the whole uh, ball capsule thing. It actually, it actually works to the appeal on this. Were you surprised to see me, Tim? I got bored, so I came out to Heart Home for a little vacation. I'm just uh, surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering a Super Contest show? Not dressed that way. It's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't be dressed by usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. You get a, you get a free costume. Tuxedo. I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I, ch I chose it. So enjoy the Super Contest show, honey. Shows will give you a different look at how many charms of Pokemon. Should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. Kind of wish I could wear this all the time, but uh. <laughs> Here we go. 
Entry number one, Tim and Prinplop. <laughs> Entry number two, Zane and Stubby. Wow, actually, they, I, I, me, and my, me and my Pokemon match. That, is that weird? <laughs> Jacob and Zoomer, and Gabriel and Precious. This is the thing, I can't talk during a... Uh... Can't talk during this or else I'm gonna miss... Yeah, I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> Doing good right now, I have a feeling. That did not suck. <laughs> success, okay. What a successful Super Contest show. You've got all the points. Rank one, uh, okay. It's time to announce the stars of the show. Stars of the show, wow, not even close. <laughs> Tim and Primplop. Dance was amazing. Move could've been better. All right. And Amelia Mana, stick around, we might be getting to that Pokemon trade sooner than later. Again, I said once my Machoke evolves, we'll do that trade, so stick around, I'm, I'm gonna need you to trade and trade back for that. Tiny bird against my giant pen my mid-sized penguin. Yeah, I don't like your odds, bro. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Actually, the chop should be really close to evolving. Let's see if we can do something about that right now. Come on, we need a machoke. So I can get a champ. <laughs> Actually, the next gym is a fighting type, so that'd be kinda cool having uh Having a full power fighting type. Are you gonna show me something wicked with your turtle? <laughs> Grass turtle, come on. He has any equip items on him, so yeah, using knockoff wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be necessary right now. Attack rows, defense rows, really. Thought you were gonna surprise me here. <laughs> Not that surprising. I'll get out of here with that. About to use Ponyta. Uh, keep keep the chop out. Let's end this with a rock tomb. Oh, agility. Oh, 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 we're good. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> of course, she's trying to, she's trying to, like, Trying to get inside your head. It's like, oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. Now I'm back where I started. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna throw rocks at you. Alright, knock him off. D bap. <laughs> That's what the animation looks like. Bap. <laughs> the bap attack. About to use the weasel, switch out, yeah. Let's use Luxio. Kinda like Luxio. 
I don't know why, I just like the color scheme of Luxray. Yellow, light blue, and black. Once it evolves, it looks very edgelordish. <laughs> Edgelord-like, I don't know. Oh, he thinks he's bad whipping those tails at me. I'm gonna whip you with actual electricity. Omar, what's up, man? And weasel down. That was fun. Thanks for the memories, Barry. What just happened? You're telling me... I yeah, you lost a second time. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, here we go. The shop is evolving. Finally, someone traded me a uh, Teddy Ursa, and it's female, so I bred it, and now I can be a Kino Bay. Oh. Awesome. Yay, we got Machoke. All right. And he will be evolving into a champ sooner than later. Machoke's boundless pe power is very dangerous. So it wears a belt that suppresses its energy. Why? Why would you... <laughs> Why? You KO'd my team again. This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. No. I just need to get tougher and keep winning one day. You, you didn't... You can't... You're not keeping winning. You're, you're losing. You gotta stop losing. <laughs> stop losing, then focus on... Well, I guess then you'd be winning, so... That's it. I'm going to challenge the Veilstone uh, Veilstone Gym next. See you around, Tim. You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. Okay, I, I don't I don't understand that. Telling me I'm gonna be he's telling me it's who are you who are you telling this to? Let me see how much you've raised your Pokemon. <laughs> I've raised my Pokemon so much it grew two more arms. How about how's that rate for raising a Pokemon? <laughs> It grew ten feet and two arms. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, David and Goliath battle right here. Kill that thing. <laughs> oh, dang. He survived. Most one... <laughs> world's most one-sided Pokemon fights. <laughs> yeah. Super bap attack. <laughs> Forehand forearmed bap. <laughs> bap 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 bap. <laughs> Alright, champs had his fun. Let's, let's try Alakazam. Yeah, we gotta show off Alakazam. Yeah, you have these Pokemon breeders here, they'll show you, I mean This is like easy uh it's not even the experience points, they're just showing off baby Pokemon. <laughs> I wish there was more to it than that. There isn't. Yeah, really, if there are any like low-level Pokemon on your team, this is your chance to level them up. Send out Badu. No. Come on, dude. You're supposed to be raising these Pokemon. Somehow you're doing the opposite. Freaking death belling them to death. <laughs> yeah, there's like a little. That's the thing about the confusion attack. If you listen to it, there's this little gong sound in it, and like, <laughs> like what is that? It's like that. What was that like the death bell? <laughs> Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, you're not. <laughs> All right, get in the Pokeball. <laughs> Uh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. I think I accidentally captured your daughter in a Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, uh, she said she was a Pokemon, so that kind of threw me off. Anyway, I think, you know, this Pokeball belongs to you now, so good luck and have fun with that. <laughs> hey, at least you know where she is at all times. <laughs> at least now you know where your child is. All right. Grinding levels at Victory Road Night. That's, that's kind of what you got to do. Grind levels, come up with a strategy. Oh, you're so angry. In we go. So this is kind of like the lavender tower of the game. <laughs> Except much smaller. And there are ghastly in here. It's kind of weird that they let you have Pokemon battles in a freaking graveyard. <laughs> Just saying. 
like maybe hey you want maybe we should go outside and have the Pokemon battle instead of where all the death is. It's kind of a kind of a sour note, you know. <laughs> no, we're just okay. We're just gonna battle in here. Fine. of Staravia. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at Staraptor, uh, that's the evolution of Staravia. I was looking at Staraptor's moveset, and God is, God, Staraptor is vicious, oh my god. I'm gonna bring. The, I'm gonna drag up the drag up the move set of uh, Star Raptor. Yeah, let's see. Uh, when it evolves into Star Raptor, first of all, it can learn Close Combat, which is the strongest fighting move in the game. <laughs> and a Flying type can learn that. You can also learn Brave Bird, which a lot like close combat is one of the is the strongest flying move in the game. Uh, those are and those are just moves it can naturally learn. You can also learn. Let's see. I mean, those two moves alone make it deadly. You can also learn U-Turn. So if you can't destroy anything with close combat or Brave Bird, you can just switch out and attack and switch out. <laughs> My Pokemon were taken from me. Team Galactic did it. Ever since, I've never forgiven their faces. It's so weird. It's like Team Galactic is like this big crime syndicate. <laughs> but, it's, and they have like these giant buildings, but everybody knows they're a crime syndicate. Like these giant, noticeable buildings. I'm just saying, if you're gonna be in crime, you gotta be subtle. <laughs> Subtlety is key. Not that I'm telling you how to commit crime or anything. <laughs> it's just that you're, if you. You know, the Mafia works so well because they were subtle. <laughs> Team Galactic is not subtle at all. <laughs> Kinda makes you wonder how they got away with this for so long. I can't explain. Being here compels me to battle. Why? Why? Why does being in a graveyard compel you to battle? Also, why would you bring your kid with you to a graveyard to battle? <laughs> You are setting a horrible example for this child. Attack. I want to replace Quick Attack. Well, no. <laughs> Probably going to replace Quick Attack as soon as I can. Story Vision should learn Takedown eventually. Okay, Pikachu. Yeah, let's switch this one up. the barrel. He's got the amulet coin after all. I should also do- I also- I'm, I'm probably gonna replace, uh, replace the barrel eventually. Just because I don't really like having three Pokemon on my team that are weak to electric type attacks. Electro Ball, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, Electro Ball is based on speed. So the faster that Pikachu is, the more damage it does. Wow, I think the Thunder Shock was more powerful. Pikachu. Yeah, we gotta switch out. Let's use my champ. Got it, bro. Yeah, got it. Let's use it. All right, flat forearm flex. Let's do this. 
I got I might I might end up giving that giving him a nickname, call him Forearm Flex. <laughs> Dang. Drop that peach, you like third period French. Uh, what was I, what was I doing? What was I just doing? <laughs> Being the world's worst father, fi picking fights in graveyards. <laughs> Ghastly. This has got to be the first time in a Pokemon game where I've had uh, <laughs> where I've gotten the Pokedex entry for. Yeah, I got the Pokedex entry for Haunter and Gengar before I got the Pokedex entry for Ghastly. <laughs> Okay, it lived. Oh, he cursed me. Darn you. <laughs> I was gonna capture you. <laughs> He's like, nope, going out on my own terms. <laughs> Bye, Z's. <laughs> yeah, let's heal him up. Potion, there we go. I need to shake off my sorrow. Please battle with me. Why are there so many people picking fights in a graveyard? I have never fought anyone in a graveyard before. Until, until I started playing Pokemon games. <laughs> the, the, the groundskeeper here has got to be losing his mind. <laughs> Comes out here every comes out works every night. Trying to like freaking make sure the grass is green, everything looks nice. Comes back the next day. It's like, yeah, we had 20 Pokemon battles here. They completely tore up the grass. Can you fix that? <laughs> it's like the janitor in Splatoon 2. He just sees like, oh crap, they another they had another turf war. Great, okay, I quit. <laughs> Clean up your own dang mess, kids. Take that, Rebecca, with the ridiculous K in her name. <laughs> it's Rebecca with a C, or it's nothing at all. <laughs> Kevin with a Y, Rebecca with a K, what is this world coming to? Tim with a Q. a very mis mismatched team here. A lot of people do like Weasel. Well, Floatzel, because it's fast, it's a water type. Problem is, it's kind of a glass cannon and doesn't have a lot of good defense stats. So generally, it can get taken down in one or two shots. Tops. Two shots, tops. All right, I destroyed everything in front of me. Are we done here? All right. Aren't you the lively one? I I'm not the one picking battles in the graveyard, thank you. <laughs> this is self-defense, thank you. Can't embarrass myself again, not in front of my girlfriend. I don't want to look bad again, not when my boyfriend is watching. Oh my god, these people. <laughs> god, get a life, you two. Get a life outside your freaking relationship. <laughs> freaking honeymoon phase. When I mean, when I say my, when I say honeymoon phase, I mean the first three months or three weeks of a relationship, depending on how old you are. <laughs> Yeah, generally the first three, yeah, the first like first month is like the honeymoon phase where 
You're just so in love and everything is sunshine and roses and then you come to the cold realization that the person in front of you is quite typical. <laughs> and then it's downhill from there. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I destroyed your relationship just like I destroyed all relationships. Oh, Tim. <laughs> I destroyed this relationship faster than I destroyed my own relationships. <laughs> That's the joke I wanted to make. And this is what we... Okay, so now we're at the top. Let's talk to these two. Let me make your journey out of this place less frightening. Take this. So cleanse tag, cleanse what's that in the bag. The cleanse tag, let the first Pokemon in your party hold it. It will keep help keep wild Pokemon away so you can let, let, let leave unhindered. Oh great, okay. Well this is after the fact. Okay, I got, this gives me another chance to get ghastly. Intimidate that ghost. Uh, I'm a freaking ghost, but yeah, please keep trying to intimidate me. Dang it. It's like, okay, that's intimidating. And this person, this is what we want. Lost Towers where the spirits of departed Pokemon are rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those whose times were short. All the departed Pokemon shall find solace here. It's a good thing you have visited. Here, take these technical machines. So this is TM96. This gives us strength. Like the move called strength. Strength in the hidden moves. In uh, app allows you to push large boulders out of your way. To use that hidden move, strength in the field. I've forgotten where exactly, but you must visit a Pokemon gym. Yeah, you don't get to use strength until, I think, after the fourth Pokemon Gym. We haven't even gotten to the third yet, so... <laughs> there is, yeah, there's also this area over here where you can get Unknown. Yeah, we finally get the Pokemon Unknown. It's back now. And they crammed them all in this little cave over here. I'm not gonna waste time trying to catch too many Unknown. But for the most part... I want to try. I want to try and do this right here. Top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, le lower left. So let me try that again. Top right, lower left, top right, lower left, top right, top right, top left, top left, lower left, top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. Okay, I'm gonna try and remember that. Top right. Lower left. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta go through this guy. Now on, gym, you're now on your sixth gym. Nice. Ruler Prime's on gym six. I'm still trying to get to three. <laughs> Be nice if I get. Well, I could go longer, but eh. yeah, I generally stream two hours a night. Besides, I gotta edit this down to a 30-minute video. <laughs> Everything that's happening tonight might not be po well. I believe I do believe a lot of stuff out, but it kind of shortens up the videos, though. By the way, they brought the bad, stupid gimmick that you have to catch all the unknown to make the tunnel expand to get to the font to get the item for Magmar to evolve it. Yeah, or you can just the there the much easier way actually would be to use a thief on uh, Magby in the underground area. Yeah, you can find Magby down there in the underground area and then just thieve off them. And there's like a one in twenty, no, one in twenty, yeah, twenty percent chance. No, there's a, there's a five percent chance that uh, they'll have a they'll have a magmarizer on them. So if you thieve that, you're good. Or you can catch all the unknown if you want. <laughs> Just so you can complete the mystery tunnel. Or have a group of, uh, of Pokemon with the ability to pick up and just walk around that too, yeah. I've done that before. In fact, I might end up doing that. 
I might end up doing that later. <laughs> Once I complete the game, I might just get like an army of pick of pick up Pokemon. <laughs> and I just try to grab whatever items I can I'm just running around. Chew on that metal. Super effective. <laughs> Beaver can chew through metal. <laughs> How much metal could a metal chuck chuck if a metal chuck could chuck metal? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> top right, wait, top right, bottom left. Top right, oh, come on now. P. We got P. These are actually the only Pokemon I would nickname. Are these things? The pickup group is going to be a bunch of Ambipom. Nice. <laughs> and Hidden Power we is back now. Hidden Power used to be like the most broken move in the game. At one point, just because uh, it, it, well, it used to not be base 60 power. Uh, it used to be completely dependent on the Pokemon stats, and you could power that thing up to base 120, and you could give it any type you wanted if you had the right time for the stats and everything. It was just a nightmare. I know one guy had hidden power on a Gengar and just, like, wrecked my entire team. <laughs> in, a, in a professional battle way long ago, back in Gen 5, I believe it was. No, Gen 4 or Gen 5. The hidden power was nasty, nasty. Yeah, it was back in Gen 4, actually. Got it? Cool. Send the box. Right, top right, top left, top right. Top left. Top left. Grab what was the last one. Bottom left. Nailed it. Found a nugget. Found a mine plate, good. Alakazam can use that. Power of the defeated giants infuses this plate, cool. Found odd incense, also can power up psychic attacks, but it also helps breed Mime Jr. if you want that. And rare candy. Friendship, all lives to. Friendship, all lives tower. No, sorry, all lives touch other. Lives to to create something anew and alive. It's a nice little saying. So let's see. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta try and find my way out of here now. Back out here. I gotta go down here. Nope, I messed up. <laughs> This way. I gotta go back up here. And then... Yeah, he gives you special Pokeballs with stickers on him to show him unknown. No, he gives you uh, cat ball capsules. Extra ones. So that's like another incentive to catch more unknown. I think he's in that house over there, that one that we were at earlier. But I don't have time for that. We're, the stream's almost over. I'm running out of time. <laughs> yeah, I believe tomorrow night we're going to have to get to that gym. Oh, you know what? I just realized my, uh... <laughs> my, uh... Piplup is... My Primplup is a female, so I can actually breed... I can actually breed, uh, Piplup eggs. <laughs> That might be a thing. I might have to do, like, a giveaway. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do some giveaways in December. Yeah, I'll, probably, I'll try to get, like, the starters and stuff. Try to give do uh, giveaways for the different starters. Do, yeah, we'll go back to doing Pokemon giveaways, but for a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They should have fixed Hidden Power and bring back the move Return. I know, but they didn't bring back Return? Oh, I thought they did. Okay. Yeah, Return was an awesome move. Oh, my God. Return was, like, based on your Pokemon's happiness. 
It could actually be almost as powerful as Hyper Beam. <laughs> Thing. That kind of bumps me out, but that, it's understandable, though. It was, it was pretty overpowered. My Pokemon toughened up from working on the wrench. I'm right proud of them. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, you mean, you mean how you made your Pokemon do all the work for you? Yeah, that definitely toughened them up. Farmer sit down. <laughs> Farmer sits down while battling. <laughs> All right, beaver versus monkey. Who's gonna win? My money's on the beaver. Yep, one shot. <laughs> Down goes the monkey. All right, round two. Beaver versus demented giraffe. <laughs> the short neck giraffe. They can nerf toxic on some Pokemon. They cannot. They cannot nerf return. Oh, because they nerfed. Yeah, toxic. Well, toxic's only available on Pokemon that could could realistically use toxic now, which is good because there used to be any Pokemon could use toxic, which was annoying as all heck. And now it's more realistic though. Like Pokemon like that are actually poison types. Uh, Vespaquan can use toxic. Yeah, it's it just it just makes more sense now, which is the way it should have been. Sword and Shield they completely took away a toxic. They turned it into a breeding move. I think I've caught everything in this grass. I think they have cricket taws, pony taws. I didn't catch the cricket tune yet. Let's try and do that right now. Darn you, struggle bug. Critical hit, of course, because why not? <laughs> Darn you! Can't even freaking make it. Can't even do any damage now. Freaking uh, struggle bug! I, yeah, my this uh, the barrel has the simple ability, so any stat changes are doubled, positive and negative. I thought that'd be good with like uh, curse or curse or uh, swords dance, but it, it has it has a lot of negative effects to it. Yeah, that's one thing I want to do. I want to teach it swords dance. Have it like have a ridiculously high attack then. This thing's actually owning me. Come on, just get caught. Get in the ball. Oh, you are being annoying. Again with the struggle bug. Okay, if I attack one more time, he's dead. Wasting all my time on a freaking cricket tune. Ridiculous. <laughs> I don't want to waste a Dusk Ball on that thing. Just get in the Pokeball. Just get in there. Giggy, giggy, giggy. Get in there. Come on. Oh, forget this. <laughs> okay, this thing's getting caught because it's super annoying. Yeah, you earned this. Annoyed, at level 19, you've annoyed me for the last time. <laughs> Into the box with you. Just so I can get through here without getting challenged again by a wild Pokemon. There we 
we go. Oh, we got one. Okay, tag team battle. Twins, Terry and Tia. Okay, well at least they're not baby Pokemon. It could have been Pichu and Clefa. But no, they we evolved. They, they, these kids were strong enough to evolve them. <laughs> or maybe they just didn't breed them the right way. But Beaver beats Rat. <laughs> oh, no, no teammate for you. <laughs> Bird beats Fairy. Twins are down. Sorry, kids. <laughs> You're out way past your bedtime anyway. Just gonna sneak past this guy. Yeah, I found a great ball. And let's see pushing this guy. I think we got time for one more battle. This will be the last one for the night. We'll pick up right here tomorrow and then we'll make our way towards uh, wherever we're sitting gym. <laughs> wherever we gotta get to next. We're, we should we should have gone to that third gym tonight. Just didn't happen. That's okay. Sometimes it doesn't happen. I want to try and get through this as fast as I can though, but... Yeah, they moved this this la this third gym like through like three different towns. We had to get through two other towns to get to this one, so it's like, why? <laughs> Put all these freaking Pokemon breeders in the way. Oh wow, Pikachu that isn't ridiculously tiny. <laughs> wow, Pikachu, you actually evolved your Pokemon. Congratulations. <laughs> Eat it. Ah, no, no. More meat. This is a vicious looking attack, Crunch. Basically being gnashed in the teeth of a beaver. <laughs> and coming up next, the next installment of World's Most One-Sided Pokemon Fights. Machamp vs. Happiny. <laughs> Wonder who's gonna win. Take that, Khalil. Hey, hey, did you take a good look? I, yeah, I... A good look at what? You losing? <laughs> Your head being lowered in shame? Alright, guys, that is gonna wrap things up for tonight's live stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, and stay tuned for more live streams tomorrow night, again. Tonight, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, we're doing more Pokemon Sword and Sheet... Or, sorry. <laughs> Dime, brilliant Diamond... Uh, yeah, Brilliant Diamond... Uh, till then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off, and have a good night, guys.